The Andes or Andean Mountains Spanish, Cordillera de los Andes are the longest continental mountain range in the world, forming a continuous highland along the western edge of South America. This range is about 7,000 km 4, miles long, about 200 to 700 km 120 to 430 miles wide widest between 18 degrees south and 20 degrees south latitude, and of an average height of about 4,000 m the Andes extend from north to south through seven South American countries, Venezuela, Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, Bolivia, Chile and Argentina. Along their length, the Andes are split into several ranges, separated by intermediate depressions. The Andes are the location of several high plateaus, some of which host major cities such as Quito, Bogotá, Cali, Arequipa, Medellín, Sucre, Mérida and La Paz. The Altiplano Plateau is the world's second highest after the Tibetan Plateau. These ranges are in turn grouped into three major divisions based on climate, the Tropical Andes, the Dry Andes, and the Wet Andes. The Andes Mountains are the world's highest mountain range outside Asia. The highest mountain outside Asia, Argentina's Mount Aconcagua, rises to an elevation of about 6,961 meters (22,838 feet) above sea level. The peak of Chimborazo in the Ecuadorian Andes is farther from the Earth's center than any other location on the Earth's surface, due to the equatorial bulge resulting from the Earth's rotation. The world's highest volcanoes are in the Andes, including Ojos del Salado on the Chile-Argentina border, which rises to 6,893 meters (22,615 feet). The Andes are also part of the American Cordillera, a chain of mountain ranges Cordillera that consists of an almost continuous sequence of mountain ranges that form the western backbone of North America, Central America, South America and Antarctica. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The etymology of the word Andes has been debated. The majority consensus is that it derives from the Quechua word anti, which means east, as in anti siu Quechua for east region, one of the four regions of the Inca Empire. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Geography. The Andes can be divided into three sections. The Southern Andes, south of Lulelaco in Argentina and Chile. The Central Andes in Peru and Bolivia and the Northern Andes in Venezuela, Colombia and Ecuador. In the northern part of the Andes, the isolated Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta range is often considered to be part of the Andes. The term cordillera comes from the Spanish word cordal, meaning rope. The Andes range is about 200 kilometers (124 miles) wide throughout its length, except in the Bolivian flexure where it is about 640 kilometers (398 miles) wide. The Leeward Antilles Islands Aruba, Bonaire, and Curaçao, which lie in the Caribbean Sea off the coast of Venezuela, were thought to represent the submerged peaks of the extreme northern edge of the Andes Range, but ongoing geological studies indicate that such a simplification does not do justice to the complex tectonic boundary between the South American and Caribbean plates. Topic: Geology. The Andes are a Mesozoic tertiary orogenic belt of mountains along the Pacific Ring of Fire, a zone of volcanic activity that encompasses the Pacific Rim of the Americas as well as the Asia-Pacific region. 
The Andes are the result of tectonic plate processes, caused by the subduction of oceanic crust beneath the South American plate. It is the result of a convergent plate boundary between the Nazca Plate and the South American Plate. The main cause of the rise of the Andes is the compression of the western rim of the South American Plate due to the subduction of the Nazca Plate and the Antarctic Plate. To the east, the Andes Range is bounded by several sedimentary basins, such as Orinoco, Amazon Basin, Madre de Dios and Gran Chaco, that separate the Andes from the ancient cratons in eastern South America. In the south, the Andes share a long boundary with the former Patagonia terrain. To the west, the Andes end at the Pacific Ocean, although the Peru-Chile Trench can be considered their ultimate western limit. From a geographical approach, the Andes are considered to have their western boundaries marked by the appearance of coastal lowlands and a less rugged topography. The Andes Mountains also contain large quantities of iron ore located in many mountains within the range. The Andean origin has a series of bends or oroclines. The Bolivian orocline is a seaward concave bending in the coast of South America and the Andes Mountains at about 18 degrees south at this point. The orientation of the Andes turns from northwest in Peru to south in Chile and Argentina. The Andean segment north and south of the orocline have been rotated 15 degrees to 20 degrees counter clockwise and clockwise respectively. The Bolivian orocline area overlaps with the area of maximum width of the Altiplano Plateau and according to Asax, 1988, the orocline is related to crustal shortening. The specific point at 18 degrees south where the coastline bends is known as the Arica Elbow. Further south lies the Maipo orocline or Maipo transition zone located between 30 degrees south and 38 degrees south with a break in trend at 33 degrees south near the southern tip of the Andes lies the Patagonian orocline. Topic. Orogeny The western rim of the South American plate has been the place of several pre-Andean orogenies since at least the late Proterozoic and early Paleozoic, when several terrains and microcontinents collided and amalgamated with the ancient cratons of eastern South America, by then the South American part of Gondwana. The formation of the modern Andes began with the events of the Triassic when Pangaea began the breakup that resulted in developing several rifts. The development continued through the Jurassic period. It was during the Cretaceous period that the Andes began to take their present form, by the uplifting, faulting and folding of sedimentary and metamorphic rocks of the ancient cratons to the east. The rise of the Andes has not been constant, as different regions have had different degrees of tectonic stress, uplift, and erosion. Tectonic forces above the subduction zone along the entire west coast of South America where the Nazca Plate and a part of the Antarctic Plate are sliding beneath the South American Plate continue to produce an ongoing orogenic event resulting in minor to major earthquakes and volcanic eruptions to this day. In the extreme south, a major transform fault separates Tierra del Fuego from the small Scotia Plate. Across the 1,000 kilometers (620 miles) wide Drake Passage lie the mountains of the Antarctic Peninsula, south of the Scotia Plate, which appear to be a continuation of the Andes chain. The regions immediately east of the Andes experience a series of changes resulting from the Andean orogeny. Parts of the Sunsas origin in Amazonian Craton disappeared from the surface of Earth, being overridden by the Andes. The Sierras de Cordoba, where the effects of the ancient Pampian orogeny can be observed, owe their modern uplift and relief to the Andean orogeny in the tertiary. Further south in southern Patagonia the onset of the Andean orogeny caused the Magorlanes Basin to evolve from being an extensional back arc basin in the Mesozoic to being a compressional foreland basin in the Cenozoic. Topic. 
Topic: <inaudible> Volcanism. The Andes Range has many active volcanoes distributed in four volcanic zones separated by areas of inactivity. The Andean volcanism is a result of subduction of the Nazca Plate and Antarctic Plate underneath the South American Plate. The belt is subdivided into four main volcanic zones that are separated from each other by volcanic gaps. The volcanoes of the belt are diverse in terms of activity style, products and morphology. While some differences can be explained by which volcanic zone a volcano belongs to, there are significant differences inside volcanic zones and even between neighboring volcanoes. Despite being a type location for calc alkali and subduction volcanism, the Andean volcanic belt has a large range of volcano tectonic settings, such as rift systems and extensional zones, transpressional faults, subduction of mid-ocean ridges and seamount chains apart from a large range of crustal thicknesses and magma ascent paths, and different amount of crustal assimilations. Topic. Ore deposits and evaporates The Andes Mountains host large ore and salt deposits and some of their eastern fold and thrust belt acts as traps for commercially exploitable amounts of hydrocarbons. In the forelands of the Atacama Desert some of the largest porphyry copper mineralizations occurs making Chile and Peru the first and second largest exporters of copper in the world. Porphyry copper in the western slopes of the Andes has been generated by hydrothermal fluids mostly water during the cooling of plutons or volcanic systems. The porphyry mineralization further benefited from the dry climate that let them largely out of the disturbing actions of meteoric water. The dry climate in the central western Andes has also led to the creation of extensive saltpeter deposits which were extensively mined until the invention of synthetic nitrates. Yet another result of the dry climate are the Salars of Atacama and the Uni, the first one being the largest source of lithium today and the second the world's largest reserve of the element. Early Mesozoic and Neogene Plutonism in Bolivia's Cordillera Central created the Bolivian Tin Belt as well as the famous, now depleted, deposits of Cerro Rico de Potosí. Topic. Climate and hydrology The climate in the Andes varies greatly depending on latitude, altitude, and proximity to the sea. Temperature, atmospheric pressure and humidity decrease in higher elevations. The southern section is rainy and cool, the central section is dry. The northern Andes are typically rainy and warm, with an average temperature of 18 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit in Colombia. The climate is known to change drastically in rather short distances. Rainforests exist just miles away from the snow-covered peak Cotopaxi. The mountains have a large effect on the temperatures of nearby areas. The snow line depends on the location. It is at between 4,500 and 4,800 meters and feet in the tropical Ecuadorian, Colombian, Venezuelan, and northern Peruvian Andes, rising to 4,800 to 5,200 meters to feet in the drier mountains of southern Peru south to northern Chile south to about 30 degrees south, then descending to 4,500 meters feet on Aconcagua at 32 degrees south, 2,000 meters 6, feet at 40 degrees south, 500 meters 1, feet at 50 degrees south, and only 300 meters 980 feet in Tierra del Fuego at 55 degrees south, from 
50 degrees south, several of the larger glaciers descend to sea level. The Andes of Chile and Argentina can be divided in two climatic and glaciological zones, the Dry Andes and the Wet Andes. Since the Dry Andes extend from the latitudes of Atacama Desert to the area of Mall River, precipitation is more sporadic and there are strong temperature oscillations. The line of equilibrium may shift drastically over short periods of time, leaving a whole glacier in the ablation area or in the accumulation area. In the high Andes of central Chile and Mendoza province, rock glaciers are larger and more common than glaciers, this is due to the high exposure to solar radiation, though precipitation increases with the height, there are semi-arid conditions in the nearly 7,000-metre highest mountains of the Andes. This dry steppe climate is considered to be typical of the subtropical position at 32 to 34 degrees south the valley bottoms have no woods just dwarf scrub The largest glaciers as e.g. the Plomo glacier and the Hawkins glaciers do not even reach 10 kilometers 6.2 miles in length and have an only insignificant ice thickness At glacial times however see 20,000 years ago, the glaciers were over 10 times longer. On the east side of this section of the Mendozina Andes, they flowed down to 2,060 meters 6 and on the west side to about 1,220 meters 4, feet above sea level. The massifs of Cerro Aconcagua, 6961 meters, 22838 feet, Cerro Tupungato, 6550 meters, 21490 feet, and Nevado Jungle, 6110 meters, 20050 feet, are tens of kilometers away from each other and were connected by a joint ice stream network. The Andes dendritic glacier arms, i.e. components of valley glaciers, were up to 112.5 kilometers, 69.9 miles long, over 1250 meters, 4100 feet thick and overspanned a vertical distance of 5150 meters, 16900 feet. The climatic glacier snowline Ella was lowered from 4600 meters (15100 feet) to 3200 meters (10500 feet) at glacial times. Topic: <laughs> Flora The Andean region cuts across several natural and floristic regions due to its extension from Caribbean Venezuela to cold, windy and wet Cape Horn passing through the hyperarid Atacama Desert. Rainforests and tropical dry forests used to encircle much of the northern Andes but are now greatly diminished, especially in the Chocó and inter-Andean valleys of Colombia. Opposite of the humid Andean slopes are the relatively dry Andean slopes in most of western Peru, Chile and Argentina. Along with several interandine val, they are typically dominated by deciduous woodland, shrub and xeric vegetation, reaching the extreme in the slopes near the virtually lifeless Atacama Desert. About 30,000 species of vascular plants live in the Andes, with roughly half being endemic to the region, surpassing the diversity of any other hotspot. The small tree cinchona pubescens, a source of quinine which is used to treat malaria, is found widely in the Andes as far south as Bolivia. Other important crops that originated from the Andes are tobacco and potatoes. The high-altitude polylepis forests and woodlands are found in the Andean areas of Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, Bolivia and Chile. These trees, by locals referred to as quenua, yagul and other names, can be found at altitudes of 4,500 meters above sea level. 
It remains unclear if the patchy distribution of these forests and woodlands is natural, or the result of clearing which began during the Incan period. Regardless, in modern times the clearance has accelerated, and the trees are now considered to be highly endangered, with some believing that as little as 10% of the original woodland remains. Fauna <laughs> 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 The Andes are rich in fauna, with almost 1,000 species, of which roughly two thirds are endemic to the region. The Andes are the most important region in the world for amphibians. The diversity of animals in the Andes is high, with almost 600 species of mammals 13% endemic, more than 1,700 species of birds about one-third endemic, more than 600 species of reptile about 45% endemic, and almost 400 species of fish about one-third endemic. The Vicuña and Guanaco can be found living in the Altiplano, while the closely related domesticated Llama and alpaca are widely kept by locals as pack animals and for their meat and wool. The crepuscular active during dawn and dusk chinchillas, two threatened members of the rodent order, inhabit the Andes alpine regions. The Andean condor, the largest bird of its kind in the Western Hemisphere, occurs throughout much of the Andes but generally in very low densities. Other animals found in the relatively open habitats of the high Andes include the huemel, cougar, foxes in the genus Pseudalopex, and, for birds, certain species of tinamous notably members of the genus Nothoprocta, Andean goose, giant coot, flamingos mainly associated with hypersaline lakes, lesseria, Andean flicker, diademed sandpiper plover, miners, sierra finches and diuca finches, lake titicaca hosts several endemics, among them the highly endangered Titicaca flightless grebe and Titicaca water frog. A few species of hummingbirds, notably some hillstars, can be seen at altitudes above 4,000 meters feet, but far higher diversities can be found at lower altitudes, especially in the humid Andean forests. Cloud forests growing on slopes in Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, Bolivia and far northwestern Argentina. These forest types, which includes the Yungas and parts of the Choco, are very rich in flora and fauna, although few large mammals exist, exceptions being the threatened mountain tapir, spectacled bear and yellow-tailed woolly monkey. Birds of humid Andean forests include mountain toucans, quetzals and the Andean cock of the rock, while mixed species flocks dominated by tanagers and fernariids commonly are seen, in contrast to several vocal but typically cryptic species of wrens, tapaculus and antpitters, a number of species such as the royal synclodes and white-browed tit spinetail are associated with polylepis, and consequently also threatened. Topic. Human activity The Andes Mountains form a north-south axis of cultural influences. A long series of cultural development culminated in the expansion of the Inca civilization and Inca Empire in the central Andes during the 15th century. The Incas formed this civilization through imperialistic militarism as well as careful and meticulous governmental management. The government sponsored the construction of aqueducts and roads in addition to pre-existing installations. Some of these constructions are still in existence today. Devastated by European diseases to which they had no immunity and civil wars, in 1532 the Incas were defeated by an alliance composed of tens of thousands of allies from nations they had subjugated e.g. Huancas, Chahapoyas, Canaris and a small army of 180 Spaniards led by Francisco Pizarro. One of the few Inca sites the Spanish never found in their conquest was Machu Picchu, which lay hidden on a peak on the eastern edge of the Andes where they descend to the Amazon. 
The main surviving languages of the Andean peoples are those of the Quechua and Aymara language families. Woodbine Parish and Joseph Barclay Pentland surveyed a large part of the Bolivian Andes from 1826 to 1827. Topic: <coughs> Cities. <coughs> 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 In modern times, the largest cities in the Andes are Bogotá, Colombia, with a population of about 8 million, Santiago, Chile, and Medellín, Colombia and Cali. Lima is a coastal city adjacent to the Andes and is the largest city of all Andean countries. It is the seat of the Andean Community of Nations. La Paz, Bolivia's seat of government, is the highest capital city in the world, at an elevation of approximately 3,650 meters feet. Parts of the La Paz conurbation, including the city of El Alto, extend up to 4,200 meters other cities in or near the Andes include Arequipa, Cusco, Huancayo, Cajamarca, Juliaca, Huanuco, Huaraz, and Puno in Peru, Quito, Cuenca, Ambato, Loya, Riobamba, and Ibarra in Ecuador, Cojabamba, Aurora, Sucre, and Tarija in Bolivia, Calama and Rancagua in Chile, Armenia, Cucuta, Bacaramanga, Abagüe, Pereira, Pasto, Palmira, Popayan, Tunja, Villavicencio, and Manizales in Colombia, and Barquisimeto, San Cristobal, Merida, and Valera in Venezuela and Mendoza, Tucumán, Salta, and San Juan in Argentina. The cities of Caracas, Valencia, and Maracay are in the Venezuelan coastal range, which is a debatable extension of the Andes at the northern extreme of South America. Topic: Transportation. Cities and large towns are connected with asphalt-paved roads, while smaller towns are often connected by dirt roads, which may require a four-wheel drive vehicle. The rough terrain has historically put the costs of building highways and railroads that cross the Andes out of reach of most neighboring countries, even with modern civil engineering practices. For example, the main crossover of the Andes between Argentina and Chile is still accomplished through the Paso International Los Libertadores. Only recently the ends of some highways that came rather close to one another from the east and the west have been connected. Much of the transportation of passengers is done via aircraft. However, there is one railroad that connects Chile with Peru via the Andes, and there are others that make the same connection via southern Bolivia. See railroad maps of that region. There are multiple highways in Bolivia that cross the Andes. Some of these were built during a period of war between Bolivia and Paraguay, in order to transport Bolivian troops and their supplies to the war front in the lowlands of southeastern Bolivia and western Paraguay. For decades, Chile claimed ownership of land on the eastern side of the Andes. However, these claims were given up in about 1870 during the War of the Pacific between Chile, the allied Bolivia and Peru, in a diplomatic deal to keep Peru out of the war. The Chilean army and Chilean navy defeated the combined forces of Bolivia and Peru, and Chile took over Bolivia's only province on the Pacific coast, some land from Peru that was returned to Peru decades later. Bolivia has been a completely landlocked country ever since. It mostly uses seaports in eastern Argentina and Uruguay for international trade because its diplomatic relations with Chile have been suspended since 1978. Because of the tortuous terrain in places, villages and towns in the mountains—to which travel via motorized vehicles is of little use are still located in the high Andes of Chile, Bolivia, Peru, and Ecuador. 
Locally, the relatives of the camel, the llama, and the alpaca continue to carry out important uses as pack animals, but this use has generally diminished in modern times. Donkeys, mules, and horses are also useful. Agriculture The ancient peoples of the Andes such as the Incas have practiced irrigation techniques for over 6,000 years. Because of the mountain slopes, terracing has been a common practice. Terracing, however, was only extensively employed after Incan imperial expansions to fuel their expanding realm. The potato holds a very important role as an internally consumed staple crop. Maize was also an important crop for these people, and was used for the production of chicha, important to Andean native people. Currently, tobacco, cotton and coffee are the main export crops. Coca, despite eradication programs in some countries, remains an important crop for legal local use in a mildly stimulating herbal tea, and, both controversially and illegally, for the production of cocaine. Irrigation <inaudible> 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 In unirrigated land, pasture is the most common type of land use. In the rainy season summer, part of the rangeland is used for cropping mainly potatoes, barley, broad beans and wheat. Irrigation is helpful in advancing the sowing data of the summer crops which guarantees an early yield in the period of food shortage. Also, by early sowing, maize can be cultivated higher up in the mountains, up to 3,800 meters (12,500 feet). In addition, it makes cropping in the dry season (winter) possible and allows the cultivation of frost-resistant vegetable crops like onion and carrot. Topic: Mining. The Andes rose to fame for their mineral wealth during the Spanish conquest of South America. Although Andean Amerindian peoples crafted ceremonial jewelry of gold and other metals, the mineralizations of the Andes were first mined in large scale after the Spanish arrival. Potosí in present-day Bolivia and Cerro de Pasco in Peru were one of the principal mines of the Spanish Empire in the New World. Rio de la Plata and Argentina derive the names from the silver of Potosí. Currently, mining in the Andes of Chile and Peru places these countries as the first and third major producers of copper in the world. Peru also contains the fourth largest gold mine in the world, the Yanacocha. The Bolivian Andes produce principally tin although historically silver mining had a huge impact on the economy of 17th century Europe. There is a long history of mining in the Andes, from the Spanish silver mines in Potosí in the 16th century to the vast current porphyry copper deposits of Chuquicamata and Escondida in Chile and Toquepala in Peru. Other metals including iron, gold and tin in addition to non-metallic resources are important. Topic. Peaks This list contains some of the major peaks in the Andes mountain range. The highest peak is Aconcagua of Argentina see below. Topic: Argentina. Aconcagua, 6,961 meters (22,838 feet). Cerro Bonete, 6,759 meters (22,175 feet). Galon, 5,912 meters, 19,396 feet. Mercedario, 6,720 meters, 22,047 feet. 
Pisces, 6,795 meters, 22,293 feet. Topic: Border between Argentina and Chile. Cerro Bayo, 5,401 meters, 17,720 feet. Cerro Fitzroy, 3,375 meters, 11,073 feet, or 3,405 meters, Patagonia, also known as Cerro Chaltain. Cerro Escorial, 5,447 meters, 17,871 feet. Cordon de la Zufre, 5,463 meters, 17,923 feet. Falso Azufre, 5,890 meters, 19,324 feet. Incuasi, 6,620 meters, 21,719 feet. Lastaria, 5,697 meters, 18,691 feet. Lulay Larco, 6,739 meters, 22,110 feet. Maipo, 5,264 meters, 17,270 feet. Marmoleo, 6,110 meters, 20,046 feet. Ojos del Salado, 6,893 meters, 22,615 feet. Olca, 5,407 meters, 17,740 feet. Sierra Nevada de Lagunas Bravas, 6,127 meters, 20,102 feet. Socompa, 6,051 meters, 19,852 feet. Nevado Tres Cruces, 6,749 meters, 22,142 feet. South Summit, three region. Tronador, 3,491 meters, 11,453 feet. Tupungato, 6,570 meters, 21,555 feet. Nacimiento, 6,492 meters, 21,299 feet. Topic Bolivia Jankuuma, six thousand four hundred and twenty seven meters, twenty one thousand and eighty six feet Cavaraya, five thousand eight hundred and sixty meters, nineteen thousand two hundred and twenty six feet Chicaltaya, five thousand four hundred and twenty two meters, seventeen thousand seven hundred and eighty nine feet Wayne Potashi, six thousand and eighty eight meters, nineteen thousand nine hundred and seventy four feet Ilimpu, six thousand three hundred and sixty eight meters, twenty thousand eight hundred and ninety two feet Ilimani, six thousand four hundred and thirty eight meters, twenty one thousand one hundred and twenty two feet Laram Kuawa, five thousand five hundred and twenty meters, eighteen thousand one hundred and ten feet. Makaizo de Pacuni, five thousand four hundred meters, seventeen thousand seven hundred and twenty feet. Nevado Analishi, five thousand seven hundred and fifty meters, eighteen thousand eight hundred and sixty five feet. Nevado Sajama, six thousand five hundred and forty two meters, twenty one thousand four hundred and sixty three feet. Patia Pata, five thousand three hundred meters, seventeen thousand three hundred and ninety feet. 
Tata Sabaya, 5,430 meters, 17,815 feet. Topic: Border between Bolivia and Chile. Acatango, 6,052 meters, 19,856 feet. Michincha, 5,305 meters, 17,405 feet. Iru Futunk, 5,163 meters, 16,939 feet. Lakan Sabur, 5,920 meters, 19,423 feet. Olka, 5,407 meters, 17,740 feet. Paranarcota, 6,348 meters, 20,827 feet. Paruma, 5,420 meters, 17,782 feet. Pomerape, 6,282 meters, 20,610 feet. Topic: Chile. Monte San Valentin, 4,058 meters, 13,314 feet. Cerro Pain Grande, 2,884 meters, 9,462 feet. Cerro Maca, C, 2,300 meters, 7,546 feet. Monte Darwin, C, 2,500 meters, 8,202 feet. Vulcan Hudson, C, 1,900 meters, 6,234 feet. Cerro Castillo Dinova, C, 1,100 meters, 3,609 feet. Mount Tarn, C.825 meters, 2,707 feet. Polaris, C, 5,993 meters, 19,662 feet. Akamarachi, C, 6,046 meters, 19,836 feet. Topic Colombia Pico Cristobal Colon, five thousand seven hundred meters, eighteen thousand seven hundred and one feet Nevado del Wheeler, five thousand three hundred and sixty five meters, seventeen thousand six hundred and two feet Nevado del Ruiz, five thousand three hundred and twenty one meters, seventeen thousand four hundred and fifty seven feet. Nevado del Tolima, five thousand two hundred and five meters, seventeen thousand and seventy seven feet. Pico Pan de Azuca, five thousand two hundred meters, seventeen thousand and sixty feet. Ratacuba Negra, 5,320 meters, 17,454 feet. Nevado del Cumbal, 4,764 meters, 15,630 feet. Cerro Negro de Mayasca, 4,445 meters, 14,583 feet. Ratacuba Blanco, 5,410 meters, 17,749 feet. Nevado del Quindío, 5,215 meters, 17,110 feet. Purache, 4,655 meters, 15,272 feet. Santa Isabel, 4,955 meters, 16,257 feet. Dona Juana, 4,150 meters, 13,615 feet. 
Galeras, 4,276 meters, 14,029 feet. Azufral, 4,070 meters, 13,353 feet. Topic: Ecuador. Antisana, 5,752 meters, 18,871 feet. Cayambe, 5,790 meters, 18,996 feet. Chimborazo, 6,268 meters, 20,564 feet. Corazon, 4,790 meters, 15,715 feet. Cotopaxi, 5,897 meters, 19,347 feet. El Alta, 5,320 meters, 17,454 feet. Aliniza, 5,248 meters, 17,218 feet. Pichinka, 4,784 meters, 15,696 feet. Quilatoa, 3,914 meters, 12,841 feet. Reventador, 3,562 meters, 11,686 feet. Sangay, 5,230 meters, 17,159 feet. Tungurahua, 5,023 meters, 16,480 feet. Topic: Peru. Alpameo, 5,947 meters, 19,511 feet. Artsenraju, 6,025 meters, 19,767 feet. Carnicero, 5,960 meters, 19,554 feet. Chumpa, 6,106 meters, 20,033 feet. Corapuna, 6,377 meters, 20,922 feet. El Misti, 5,822 meters, 19,101 feet. El Toro, 5,830 meters, 19,127 feet. Huandoy, 6,395 meters, 20,981 feet. Huascaron, 6,768 meters, 22,205 feet. Jirashanka, 6,094 meters, 19,993 feet. Pomacio, 5,991 meters, 19,656 feet. Rasak, 6,040 meters, 19,816 feet. Rondoy, 5,870 meters, 19,259 feet. Sarapo, 6,127 meters, 20,102 feet. Salcante, 6,271 meters, 20,574 feet. Seria Norte, 5,860 meters, 19,226 feet. Ciula Grande, 6,344 meters, 20,814 feet. Waitapalana, 5,557 meters, 18,232 feet. Yerapaja, 6,635 meters, 21,768 feet. 
Yerapaja Chico, 6,089 meters, 19,977 feet. Topic: Venezuela. Pico Bolivar, 5,007 meters, 16,427 feet. Pico Humboldt, 4,940 meters, 16,207 feet. Pico Bonpland, 4,880 meters, 16,010 feet. Pico La Conca, 4,920 meters, 16,142 feet. Pico Piedras Blancas, 4,740 meters, 15,551 feet. Pico El Orgila, 4,180 meters, 13,714 feet. Pico El Toro, 4,729 meters, 15,515 feet. Pico El Leon, 4,740 meters, 15,551 feet. Pico Mucunuk, 4,609 meters, 15,121 feet. Topic. See also. Andean geology, a scientific journal. Andesite line. Apu God. Cordillera Mountains in the Philippines. List of longest mountain chains on Earth. Mountain passes of the Andes. Rocky Mountains. Equals equals notes.